In League of Legends, Zed is a champion whose abilities deal physical damage and summon shadows who will mimic his spell casts. On today's episode of Wallmath, we'll be taking a look at Zed's abilities and how they differ when cast by his shadows. First, let's take a look at Zed's abilities. Zed's passive ability, Contempt for the Weak, will cause his auto attacks to deal extra magic damage to a target when their current health is below 50% of their maximum health. The magic damage dealt is equal to 6% of the target's maximum health if Zed is between levels 1 and 6, 8% of their health if Zed is between levels 7 and 16, and 10% of their health if Zed is between levels 17 and 18. Contempt for the Weak can only occur on the same target once every 10 seconds. Before we look at Zed's other abilities, we should first note something that makes Zed very unique. Two of Zed's abilities allow him to summon shadows which will mimic his spell cast. A shadow spells act similar to Zed's abilities, but are slightly different. Moving on, let's take a look at Zed's Razor Shuriken ability. Razor Shuriken has a 6 second cooldown and costs energy equal to 80 minus the ability's current level times 5. When cast, Zed will throw a shuriken that deals physical damage equal to 40 plus 35 times the ability's current level plus Zed's bonus attack damage. If Razor Shuriken hits any targets after the first, the damage dealt will be multiplied by 0.8. If a Shadow's Razor Shuriken hits a target that Zed has already hit, the damage dealt by the Shadow will be multiplied by 0.5. If both Zed and his Shadow hit the same target with Razor Shurikens, Zed will regain energy equal to 15 plus the ability's current level times 5. Zed's Living Shadow ability has a 23.5 second cooldown minus the ability's current level times 1.5. It also costs energy equal to 45 minus the ability's current level times 5. When cast, Zed summons a shadow that will mimic his abilities for 4 seconds. If cast again while the shadow remains, Zed will switch positions with his shadow. Living Shadow also has a passive effect which multiplies Zed's bonus attack damage by 1 plus Living Shadow's current level times 0.05. Keep in mind, this only applies to bonus attack damage, which includes all attack damage other than Zed's base attack damage of 48.6 and 3.4 attack damage Zed gains each level. Zed's Shadow Slash ability has a 3 second cooldown and costs 50 energy. When cast, Zed deals physical damage in an area around him equal to 30 plus 30 times the ability's current level plus Zed's bonus attack damage times 0.9. Each enemy struck by Shadow Slash will reduce the cooldown of Living Shadow by 1 second. If one of Zed's shadows hits a target with Shadow Slash, they will not be dealt any physical damage but will be slowed for 1.5 seconds by 15% plus 5% times the ability's current level. If both Zed and one of his shadows hit a target with Shadow Slash simultaneously, the slow percentage will be multiplied by 1.5. The slow duration will not increase. Zed's ultimate ability, Death Mark, has an 140 second cooldown minus the ability's current level times 20. Death Mark costs no energy. When cast, Zed will dash to a target and spawn a shadow behind them. While dashing, Zed cannot be targeted or hit with skill shots. The shadow acts the same as a shadow summoned with Zed's living shadow ability. Zed can also switch positions with his shadow if he casts his ultimate again. After 3 seconds, the target Zed dashed to will be dealt physical damage equal to Zed's attack damage. The target will also be dealt physical damage equal to 5% plus 15% times the ability's current level, of any physical and magic damage Zed and his shadows have dealt to the target in the past 3 seconds. True damage will not be taken into account. Overall, Zed's abilities can lead to some very interesting combinations when his shadows are active. If there are any topics regarding Zed you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook at facebook.com slash lolmathyoutube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.